Imagine a world grappling with plastic waste, mountains of it choking our oceans, burying our landfills. Now picture a small Kenyan village where plastic waste is transformed into sturdy, affordable building materials. This isn't science fiction. This is the inspiring reality of Jenga makers, a testament to human ingenuity tackling global challenges. Their story, though oceans away, holds a powerful message for Norfolk's high streets, reminding us that even amidst global crises, innovative solutions exist, often sparked by local action. This essay delves into the complex interplay of global forces and local realities shaping our high streets. We'll explore the far-reaching impacts of globalisation, the crucial role of individual choices and the double-edged sword of technological advancement. Throughout this exploration, we'll uncover the remarkable resilience of human communities, their capacity to adapt and reinvent, and ultimately, our shared responsibility in shaping a vibrant future for our towns and cities. The world is shrinking, not literally, of course, but in the interconnectedness of our economies, cultures and challenges. This interconnectedness is more evident now than ever before. The clothes we wear, the food we eat, even the online marketplaces we browse, they all speak to a globalised world where boundaries blur and distances seem shorter. Events in distant lands ripple through our lives, often impacting our local communities in profound ways. A political change in one country can affect the economy in another. And a cultural trend can spread like wildfire across continents. This interconnectedness presents both opportunities and challenges for Norfolk's high streets. The blend of global influences can be seen in the variety of businesses and the diversity of people walking these streets. On one hand, globalisation has brought a world of choices to our doorstep. We can now enjoy cuisines from every corner of the globe without leaving our hometown. Exotic spices, handcrafted goods and innovative products from every corner of the globe are now readily available, making our shopping experiences richer and more varied. This influx of diversity enriches our lives and expands our horizons, allowing us to experience different cultures and traditions firsthand. This diversity can breathe new life into our high streets, attracting customers with unique offerings and fostering a vibrant cultural exchange. It creates a melting pot of ideas, tastes and experiences. However, globalisation also presents significant challenges. The same forces that bring diversity can also create competition that is difficult for local businesses to withstand. The rise of online giants and the allure of cheap, mass-produced goods often undercut local businesses, making it hard for them to compete on price and convenience. Local shop owners are forced to adjust their prices and strategies to stay afloat, often at the expense of their unique offerings and personal touch. This can lead to a decline in local character and a homogenisation of our high streets, where the unique charm of independent shops is overshadowed by the uniformity of global chains. As independent shops struggle to survive amidst a sea of global brands, the distinctiveness of our local communities is at risk. The challenge lies in finding a balance that allows both global and local businesses to thrive. In this interconnected world, our individual choices carry more weight than ever before. The digital age has amplified the reach and impact of our decisions, making each click and purchase a significant act. Every purchase we make, every shop we patronise, is a vote cast in the marketplace, shaping the landscape of our communities. These choices influence not just the economy, but also the social fabric and cultural identity of our neighbourhoods. Do we opt for the convenience and affordability of online giants, or do we make a conscious effort to support local businesses, even if it means paying a bit more? This decision is more than just a financial one. It reflects our values and priorities. The dilemma is real. And the answer is rarely simple. It requires us to weigh the benefits of convenience against the long-term impact on our local economy and community well-being. The convenience and cost-effectiveness of online shopping are undeniable, especially for busy individuals and families on a budget. The ability to shop from anywhere at any time has revolutionised the way we buy goods and services. Yet, we must remember that each purchase from a local business ripples through our community, supporting local jobs, preserving local character and fostering a sense of belonging. Local businesses often reinvest in the community, creating a cycle of growth and prosperity. By choosing to spend our money locally whenever possible, we invest in the well-being of our communities. This investment goes beyond mere transactions. It builds relationships and strengthens the social ties that bind us together. 
We become conscious consumers, aware of the impact of our choices, and actively shaping the world we want to live in. This awareness encourages us to consider the ethical, environmental and social implications of our purchases. This mindful approach to consumption is not about shunning the global marketplace, but rather about striking a balance, supporting local businesses while embracing the diversity and opportunities of a globalised world. It's about making informed choices that reflect our values and contribute to a sustainable future. Technology, like globalisation, presents both opportunities and challenges for our high streets. It is a double-edged sword that can either uplift or undermine the local economy, depending on how it is wielded. On one hand, it has the potential to revitalise local businesses, connecting them with a wider customer base and providing innovative tools to compete in the digital age. These tools can range from sophisticated inventory management systems to advanced marketing analytics. Online platforms, social media and e-commerce can empower small businesses, giving them a voice in the digital marketplace and allowing them to reach customers beyond their immediate vicinity. Social media campaigns can create a buzz, while e-commerce platforms can open up new revenue streams. However, technology can also exacerbate existing challenges. The digital divide can leave some businesses behind, unable to keep up with rapid technological advancements. The rise of online shopping while offering convenience has also contributed to the decline of foot traffic on our high streets, making it harder for brick and mortar stores to thrive. This shift has led to vacant storefronts and a loss of the vibrant community atmosphere that once characterised our towns. The algorithms that power our online experiences, while designed to personalise our feeds, can also create echo chambers, limiting our exposure to new ideas and reinforcing existing biases. This can stifle innovation and reduce the diversity of products and services available to consumers. Navigating this technological landscape requires a nuanced approach. Business owners must be adaptable, continuously learning and integrating new technologies, while also staying true to their core values and community roots. We must harness the power of technology to empower local businesses, providing them with the tools and resources they need to thrive in the digital age. This includes access to training, funding and support networks that can help them leverage technology effectively. At the same time, we must be mindful of the potential pitfalls, ensuring that technology serves to connect and empower our communities, rather than isolate and divide us. By fostering a collaborative environment, we can ensure that technology enhances, rather than detracts from, the social fabric of our towns.